Couples go on a dream vacation. Meet Chad Freak and Susan Clay. He's a student who likes music and writing. She's a bartender who enjoys music, concerts, and movies. Meet Randall Hayes and Georgette Jefferson. He's a manager at a camera store who likes video games and playing basketball. She's a preschool teacher who enjoys reading and music. They're all here to play the wildest shopping game ever. The new shop, Till You Drop. And here's the host of the new shop, Till You Drop, Pat Finn. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much for me running in. Not that I'm late. They tell me to run like that. Good to have you here. Thanks for watching there at home. We've got a great game plan for you. Georgette and Randall, welcome to our show. Thank Hi. you. You two are engaged, right? Yes. yes. Now, was it a, was it, was it a, wait, 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 wait to hear the rest of the guys. Was it a romantic proposal? Uh, no, not really. Yeah, I didn't think so. Tell, tell me about it. Well, I was at work and he came in after his break and said that he had something to talk to me about at the end of the day. And um, I kept asking him to tell me because I wanted to know because I was curious. And he said, well, I want to know if you're marrying me. And I said, OK. Yeah. But I thought he was just playing. So I never took it serious. But that was my That was it. Proposal. That's all you got. That's that was it. So. <laughs> Either way, you got it, which is great. Yeah. So good to have you guys here. Thank you. Susan and Chad, welcome to our show. You two are uh, friends, right? Yes. Yep. So how do you know each other? Um, I'm dating his best friend, actually. We've been dating for five years, and Chad and I used to hate each other. Oh, I'm glad you threw that part in. They used to, anyway. Yeah. You two on the toss, so you get to go first. Come with me, please. If you'll step right around the front there. Come on over here. Come on over right here. Let me tell you about this, and listen very carefully, because if you want to, you can pass the stunt on to your opponents. Now, in honor of all those pushy salespeople who swarm around you in shopping malls, we've created our buzzing beehive that you can see right here. Inside the hive are minimum, minimum wage worker bees worth $5 a piece. And you're going to be using them to price the products that are behind you. Why don't you step over here? You can see those products. First of all, there's the Winnie the Pooh collectible honey jar. Next to that, the beeswax candles. The Beehive Birdhouse, notice the trend here, the floral four cup teapot, and the set of four flowered ceramic mugs. Now their prices range from $10 to $30. Now when I say go, bees will actually start coming out of our hive and of course we'll need our... Uh, <laughs> to be or not to be? <laughs> that is the question. I'm a classical bee trainer myself. <laughs> no, little bees, stop! Stop, little bees, stop! You've trained them they're well. They're trained jumping bees. And they're giant, they're Brazilian. Brazilian. They associate my net with a honeycomb. <laughs> See, the way it's going to work is once they start coming out, it'll be your job here, okay. Chad, to catch those bees in there. Then you're going to run them over to Susan. Susan, you'll take them out of the net and put the appropriate number of bees on the wall that you think it would take to price the product that's there and each bee is worth five dollars remember now you can only use the bees that you collect in the net you can't just pick them up you got to catch them in the air so Chad you'll need to work quickly okay. but if you can get three out of the five correct mm -hmm. in 60 seconds you guys will win all right okay what do you think pass or play I think we're gonna pass right. you're pass yeah. all right head over there all right, Randall okay. and Georgette come here please yeah. right. come on, Randall. okay okay all right, you get behind there, Randall. You get right. in position there. Be the careful. Passing of, <laughs> the passing of the net. <laughs> Time on the clock. Ready, set, and let's call your bees. Make them come. I'm ready, baby. Okay, I like okay. All right, okay. Put as many as you think you need for the teapot. Teapot okay. first. Put as many as you think you need. All right, okay, all right. next one was the beeswax candles. As many as you think you need for the beeswax candles. Okay, come here. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Put as many up there as you think you need for the beeswax candles. Right. Each one yes. worth five dollars, remember? Okay. And next you're moving on to the beehive birdhouse. The beehive birdhouse. Each of these is worth five dollars okay. a piece. The beehive birdhouse, how many are you going to put there? You've got two so far. Okay. And uh, oh, she's uh, actually working one ahead here, so. Okay, so each bee is five dollars. Make sure you're happy with these prices here. Okay. The bees just keep on coming. Okay, you got it. You got okay. it. Okay, now you're all the way right. down there. I think you're working on your, the set of four flowers. Okay. Okay. Make four sure up. it's clear where you're putting those bees. Five. Five. Sure five. Okay. Okay, one's falling off there. So make sure you're happy with what okay, you got right there. Okay. Okay. Right there. Uh, okay. Stop your bees, stop please. <laughs> You must send to the queen. <laughs> All right, why don't you stand down there at that end? 
Uh, and as he tends to his bees, we'll work our way down here and see if you can get three out of five of these right. And if you do, you'll win the stun. They're worth $5 a piece, as we told you. Two bees, that's $10. Our teapot right here, the honey jar, and that is $30. So we can't give you that one. Next one, we have the beeswax candles. You only have one there at $5. And those candles actually sell for $10. You need the rest of these right in order to do it. One, two, three bees means $15. Our little birdhouse is worth $25, so you didn't do it. Over here, just to complete it, one, two, three, four, $20 for the floral teapot. That was $15. Oh, one, two, three, four for the ceramic rugs, $20. And that was $20. You had one. Okay. Yeah. Right, right. Yeah. All right, you'll get a chance at another stunt in a moment. But in the meantime, it is now your turn to play. So come with me, Susan Chat. Now, of course, when you pass, you automatically get to do the next stunt, which you get to do. Now, when you're friends with somebody for five years, you usually get to know a lot about them. You guys have been friends for a while, right? Yeah. We're going to see how Absolutely. much you know about each other, because over there are two chairs separated by a divider. In a moment, I'm going to ask you both to take a seat on either side of our divider, and then I'm going to ask you both a question. Whoever the question mostly applies to should stand up while the other person just stays seated. Now, only one person can answer per question, can stand up per question. Now to get a point, you gotta have just one person up. If both come up, that would make it wrong. But if you okay. get five out of eight right, you guys will win. Okay? okay? All right. Let's All put right. you into position over here. Okay. Are you ready? Start, started seated, <laughs> seated there, and then uh, stand up if you think this applies to you. Which one of you is more likely to sneak downstairs in the middle of the night and raid the fridge? Anybody? No. Okay. Okay. So nobody stood up on that. We wanted to admit to it anyway. Which one of you is more likely to suck in your stomach when wearing a bathing suit? That is a correct answer. At least one of you are right. Uh, which one of you is more likely to take clothes out of a hamper to wear? Take clothes out of a hamper to wear. Chad is dead. That's two for you. Which one of you is more likely to eat something after it has fallen on the floor? Ready? And stand, if you're going to stand. Nobody's standing on that one. Okay. Which one of you is more likely to dance around in your birthday suit in front of the mirror singing your favorite song? Susan is up on that. Okay. That means that you have three so far. Which one of you is more likely to drool all over the pillow while sleeping? Susan's up on that too. That means that you need just one more and you guys are going to do it. Which one of you is more likely to play on the internet chat room you know the other person would disapprove of? Well, you're both up on that. We can't give you that one, so you need this last one right. Which one of you is more likely to snore so loud that you'll wake up other people in the house? She's standing and he did it. Very good. Back over here, you guys. Here's 100 points for you and the chance to go shopping in our mall. Remember, one of our stores has today's shopper special. And if you pick that store, you'll also get a mini vacation. Now, here are the stores you can pick from. We have 24 Carats, RCA BMG Music and Video Store, Downtown Designs, Heidi's Housewares, J&B Sports of All Sorts, Andrea's Art Mart, and Chuck's Department Store. What do you think? Chuck. Chuck it is. That means that you just won a great prize. Tell us about it, Steve. Yes, Pat, it's the cockpit. Completely correct. Computer workstation. The bow cherry finish brass accents for that complete look from O'Sullivan, an office product leader. Retail value $500. Yeah. Very nice. All right, you guys are in the lead, but you'll get your chance to catch up, and we'll get a chance to watch some more stunts right after this here on the new shop you dropped. So please stay with us. Two stunts worth 200 points apiece. Georgette and Randall, you get to catch up, so come with me. Yeah. Right. Listen up, too, because you can pass at this point if you want to do that. Now, if I asked you to list some of your favorite bands, you'd probably have no problem with that, right? Well, what I'm going to ask you to do is take CD covers and list them or put them in chronological order according to the year you think that they hit the record stores. I'm going to be handing you a cover. You'll run it over to the wall and put it on the shelf with the year that CD came out along our timeline there. And if you can match six out of the eight CD covers to their correct year in a minute, you'll win. If you play, what do you think? 
We'll play. Yeah, we'll play. We'll play. Okay, we'll play. good. Okay. We're going to put one minute on the clock. You can move as quickly as you can. First one we have for you is Madonna Like a Prayer. Madonna Like a Prayer. What year? Okay. Work together, uh, you guys. Uh, 87. 87. 87. 87. 87. Okay. okay. Right. Next one, Beatles, Abbey Road. Beatles, uh, Abbey Road. Okay. What do you think? Move uh, quickly because uh, you can switch words at the end if you have extra time. Okay. All right. Donna Summer on the radio. Okay. Uh, 77. 77. 77. Okay. Okay. Alanis Morissette, Jagged Little Pill. Uh, 92. 92. 92. 92, all right. Saturday Night Fever soundtrack. When was that? Uh, 79. 79. 79. 79. Okay. Don't forget the Bodyguard soundtrack. Don't Never forget thought. to switch things around at the end if you have time. You two, The Joshua Tree. Uh, 89. 89. 89. And the last one, Goodbye Yellow Brick Road, Elton John. Where are you going to put it? I'll put that one back up. Um, no, you still have 10 seconds. 10 seconds. 10 seconds. What do you want to move around? 10 seconds. Anything? Leave it the way it is. Anything okay. you want to move? Leave it the way it is. 5, 4, 3, okay. 2, yes. uh, okay. <laughs> All right. I'm not so sure either. I'll be okay. You step right over here. Let's work our okay. way back. Let's see how you did. You need to get a total of six out of the eight of them right. Goodbye, Yellow Book Road. Elton John, 1969. That actually came out in 1972. Oh. So we can't give you that one. Take it down. Next one, Abbey Road. You said 1973. Well, that was 1969. Not that one. 1977 for Donna Summer, the disco years. But she was actually in 1979. So nope on that one. Saturday Night Fever, the other disco one. You just had those backwards. Can't give you that one either. Uh, next one is Madonna, Like a Prayer. You said that was in 1987. That is actually 1989. Nope on that one. 1989 for the Joshua Tree. Well, that was 1987. <laughs> Jagged Little Pill, Alanis Morissette, 1992, no, 1995, you got everyone wrong, the Bodyguard soundtrack was in 1992, sorry you guys, back to seven chords, oh, it's all right. That's okay. Tell you what, I'll let you answer some questions in a moment, I bet you'll do well with that, but in the meantime, Susan and Chad, come over here, it's the last time. Stand here, let me tell you how this works. Now, did your mother ever say to you, if you don't put those toys away, we're going to get rid of them? Yeah? Well, it's your chance to get rid of them yourself right now because we've got seven rather noisy toys right here. And they, we seem to find them all over the mall. And we just want to get rid of them. And that's where you guys are going to do some work. Because when I say go, Susan, you'll start turning on all of these toys. Okay. And Chad, you'll start smashing them with this mallet. And you'll be doing it as hard as you possibly can. I mean, really smashing them, all right? By the way, Chad, as you're doing this, you'll be doing this the way that D combs his hair. Hey, wait a Blindfolded. minute. Blindfolded. What are you Blindfolded. talking about? Yeah. <laughs> it's just a matter of product. I'm going to get the right moose and I'll be fine. Okay, I'm sure you will. <laughs> By the way, if you can get seven toys, all seven toys, smashed and stopped in one minute, you'll win. Let's put you in a position right over here, Chad, okay, and uh, D will help you. Blindfold right. first and then the goggles. And we're going to put goggles on you, too, just Blindfold. to be safe. Blindfold. Set that in place are. there. Okay. Now for the safety goggles. Alrighty. Do we need a lead shield for this either? Uh, no, but no. you notice they get the safety goggles and we don't. What does yeah. that tell you? What's with that? <laughs> Time on the clock. Ready. I uh, gotta give you the mallet. Yeah. Set and start your toys okay. quickly. Alright, where is it, Susan? Ready, start them, just put them up in there. Fastly smash them up. Where is it? Get them on, get them turned on as quickly as possible. Hey! Sorry. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. He's, he's not okay. laughing at you, I promise. You no, did your best. All right. Send, head back here to center court. Sorry, okay. you guys. <laughs> okay. You guys look like question people, I can tell. Welcome back to our Shopper's Challenge round right after this from the new Shopper's Rock.
We're back. We're going to play along at home, I'm sure. I'm going to be watching as you guys find out who's going to get a chance to go on to shop till they drop at the end of this round. All right. Ladies in the position, here's a minute 30 seconds on the clock. Good luck to both teams. What electronics giant makes the PlayStation video game system? Yes, you're in first, your chat. Sony. Yes, that's correct. Hairspray, chocolate or perfume. What does Godiva make? Chad. Chocolate. Correct. Teak, balsa, and mahogany are all types of what? Yes, Susan. Wood. Correct. It Takes a Village is the title of the book by what American First Lady? Yes, Randall. Hillary Ronald Clinton. Correct. According to their ad campaign, what's the other white meat? Yes. Wood. Correct. What do the initials in the fragrance CK1 stand for? Chad. Calvin Klein. Correct. Name the battery company with a pink drum-thumping bunny as its mascot. Susan. Ever er uh, ever not in time, Georgette? Energizer. Yes, that's correct. What bar of soap claims to be for all your 2,000 parts? Yes, Lever Jeff. 2000. That's correct. Which operates on dry heat, a jacuzzi, sauna, or steam bath? Yes, in first, Georgette. Sauna? Correct. Does Breath Assure come in capsules, liquid, or paste? Yes, Randall. Capsules. Correct. What is the only country that is also a continent? Yes, Georgette. Africa? No, Susan. Uh... Australia. Uh, not in time. It is Australia. Toy trains, pagers, or oil for your car. What does Motorola make? Yes, Chad. Pagers. Correct. Mercury, Chevrolet, or Ford. Which car manufacturer sells the Villager LS? Yes, Susan. Ford. No. Georgette? Mercury. Correct. Which country superstar gave us the albums Rope in the Wind and No Fences? Yes, Randall. Garth Brooks. Correct. What diamond jewelry company claims a diamond? Ooh, out of time. And Georgette and Randall, you came to the high and you to shop your drive. Wow, that was a close one. You guys yeah. did win the great computer station, though. Thanks for being here. Nice to meet you. You can head off there. I'll see you at the end of the show, okay? Hey, you did it. Yeah. In just a moment, they will shop till they drop, so don't go away. Yeah, I agree. I agree. <laughs>
Very smart. Retail value, $330. All right. Good. Next one we have is Mr. Gadget, and you have this, D. Panasonic's integrated fax and digital answering system. You'll appreciate the convenience of a plain paper fax and answering machine in this one easy-to-use package from Panasonic. Worth $350. That's 1820 to go now as we go to Heidi's house where it's next. And it's this for you, D. Braun's new 5-in-1 food preparation center needs mixes, blends, chops, and crushes ice. One machine for all your food preparation needs from Braun. Retail value 350 on this one. So some good solid numbers. Let's see what we do as we get to Chuck's department store. This time around, it's a table. Tell us about it, D. That is Lloyd Flanders' man-made, elegantly styled all-weather wicker furniture. Durability for indoor or outdoor living, designed to grace any home from Lloyd Flanders. Retail value 364. Right now, it's 11.06 to go as we go to 24 character jewelry store with this watch, D. For the active couple, it's Hellgrove's His and Hers superb quality crafted water resistant calendar watches. Fashion link, bracelet creation, and stylish stainless steel and gold tone from Hellgrove's. Retail value $380. Wow. 726 is your magic number as we go to gifts galore. Take a look inside, and it's this gift, D. And it's the Swiss made Capresso Bar. It combines a programmable pump espresso machine with a digital drip coffee maker. The ultimate coffee combination, a coffee lover's dream from Capresso. Now, we need the retail value to be $726. This is pretty cool, but it actually sells for $450. No trip. By the way, it was Downtown Designs. They had pearls for $840. Didn't get that. Did get 